Dude. Let's get weird. <laughs> uh, this shirt has started a lot of conversation since I bought it. I found out that people mean a lot of different things when they say, think and they say, let's get weird. What does it mean to you? Well, this evening's prayer cast, I'm going to be talking about and telling you about or reminding some of you about a story about a seagull. The name of the book and the name of the seagull is Jonathan Livingston Seagull. Now, Jonathan Livingston Seagull was a seagull who was a little weird. And, well, we'll talk more about it. There were originally three parts originally published. Uh, but like all good stories, after the author's death, his wife found a manuscript, and now it's published with four parts. Now, it's a great book, and it's also a very, very short read, but I'll only be talking about part one this evening. Jonathan was a seagull who lived inside a seagull community, but he was different. Other seagulls were content with their lives being safe lives. Not like the jet ski behind us, but just traveling safely to find food and then traveling back safely to rest. No excitement, no risk taking in the seagull community. But Jonathan wasn't that way. You see, Jonathan thought that if the purpose of living was just to survive, what kind of life is that? And is it really worth living anyway? Jonathan wanted to discover new things. He wanted to learn new things. And he wanted to share new things with the people that he cared about, his fellow seagulls. Jonathan didn't want to survive. He wanted to live. He wanted absolutely to thrive. So he started exploring new things. Now, what would a seagull explore but flight? Jonathan discovered all sorts of things about flight. How, with, if he altered the length of his wingspan, that he would go faster if he brought it in. He made these discoveries. He also made lots of mistakes. <laughs> he got faster, and he would go into a tailspin and crash. And, and eventually, he got fast to fly faster than any seagull had ever flown before. And he did that so the community could see him. And he landed it. He was so proud. He was excited that his community had seen him. But the community even held this meeting. The community leaders held this meeting and invited Jonathan there as a special guest. So Jonathan goes to the community meeting to be celebrated to understand what the people thought of him after such a, an amazing and a brave accomplishment. But the meeting was to banish Jonathan, banish him out of the community, to send him away for being too risky, for taking too many risks, for taking any risk at all. He was sent to a mountaintop away from the community where he could see the community, but he wasn't allowed to join in. He was only allowed to, to watch from a distance, but he didn't stop learning. He kept learning. He kept experimenting. He kept wanting to thrive, and he made lots more discoveries, but he was only sad that he didn't have someone to share those discoveries with. So where are you this evening? Do you feel weird? Is there a situation that you're just trying to fit in and can't make it work? Or maybe there's a situation that you don't want to fit in with. Maybe you're tired of struggling, of going against the grain, going against the way that water is flowing. And maybe you're just tired. Whichever situation you are in, whether it be like Jonathan Livingston Seago and wanting to thrive, wanting to discover new things, yeah. Or maybe you're like two friends of mine in high school. In my high school, in the cafeteria, we had assigned lunch table assignments. And in the table that I sat at, we had a 
friend of mine, I'll call him, and with no disrespect, super geek. Uh, he was a geek and he was absolutely proud of being a geek. Uh, was assigned to sit right across the table from Mr. Popularity. Now, you know him or her. Uh, maybe you were him or her. Maybe you were super geek. Ah, whichever one you, of the situations you found yourself in high school, it doesn't matter. Well, one day after sitting almost the whole year, Mr. Popularity leaned over the table and said to Super Geek, said, you know, you're a pretty cool guy. If you'd let other people see what I've seen this year by getting to know you, you'd fit in real well. And Super Geek heard that and leaned back and raised up his head, sort of like a seagull, and looked around and then looked back at Mr. Popularity and said, what do you think that I want to fit in with around here? Maybe you're that way. Or maybe you're just struggling with going against the grain for so long and not seeing it accomplish anything, not seeing any result come about of it. At the end of part one of Jonathan's story, two young seagulls come to visit him. Jonathan's shocked. Why are they coming to visit him? He's been banished from the community. And they get beside him and they tell him that come with us. There's something that we want you to see. And so they flank on both sides of Jonathan, who's now quite old and not flying as well as these young seagulls. And they fly over a mountain that Jonathan has never flown over before. And as they fly over the peak, Jonathan looks down. And there's a new community, a different community, a community of younger seagulls. But do you know what? They're flying. They're flying fast. They're doing tricks in the air. They're doing amazing tricks in the air. And one of the young seagulls looks to Jonathan and says, you needed to see this because this is what you inspired. You inspired this group to do more things, to not live safely, to take risk and discover more things, and to not survive, but thrive in the art of flying. Jonathan was amazed. And Jonathan was happy. Whichever one of these situations you find yourself in, whether it be tired of going against the stream, whether it be trying to fit in, whether it be deciding how to not fit in, whatever situation you find yourself in this evening, my wish for you this evening is that you will indeed fly well, fly strong, fly risky, and be weird. Good night, everyone.